Well, we all uh, all know how hard it's been for a lot of people over the last few years, especially entertainers. You know, we we, we had no work. We could we. There's nothing, we, and I had to start thinking of ideas. What could we do? And I thought, you know, a good job to have, weatherman. I think I could have been a weatherman, because it's a job you don't have to be right. <laughs> How good is that? Every night you come on the news and you say tomorrow could be this, and if it's not, it eh, doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, and over that time too, we did watch a lot of Netflix. I know that, and I, I share it with my dad. My dad who lives in Adelaide um, and I share my account with him and what I did is uh, I, I set him up with his, with his own profile, I did all that for him and then I said I'll load on some things that you can watch and one of the shows I put on was The Kaminsky Method with Michael Douglas so I thought he'd like that. So I loaded it up and a few days later I rang him and I said uh, did you enjoy The Kaminsky Method? He said yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a long film. <laughs> I said, you know, it was a series. You sort of watch a couple of episodes and then you don't. He goes, well, I thought there was something wrong because every half hour the credits had come on and then it would go back to the movie. I'm like, oh, man. He watched the whole thing in a day. Like, that's insane. Anyway, I've got him on the Game of Thrones now, so I'll see him next year. Uh, coming up on tonight's show, we have comedian Alan Glover and also actor Pippa Granderson. <laughs> Coast Show with Darren Sanders. Tonight, actor Pippa Grandison, comedian Alan Glover, plus your chance to win on the Coast Show wheel. And now, beaming to four sides of flat earth, it's the Coast Show. My first guest tonight, actor Pippa Grandison, everybody. I thought I'd be short to the point. Good, yes. how are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. Thanks for coming Hi. on the show. My pleasure. You have been quite busy, haven't you? I as, have. as an actor, an act, you've been very busy. I've seen you popping up in things like left, right and centre. There you are in Frayed recently, I think, yeah. Frayed. Yeah, and singing gigs, been doing quite a bit up here. And yeah. at the moment I've been painting the house. I think I might have a bit of paint. Oh, I do. Oh, do you? <laughs> I have it in paint. I guess you own and don't rent then. Yes. Yeah, because well, you wouldn't be fixing up a rental, would you? No, the bank and I own this one. Don't know how that happened. I'm a bum actor. God knows I would never get a mortgage now, get a loan now, but I managed to get one in You're when I was doing... not a bum actor. You're in everything. You're oh, like you're, no. You know, That's started, just what we say. You started when you were like 14 or 12 or somewhere around then, or weren't you? an embryo. Yes. <laughs> yes. There I was. It, just a lump of something, that, acting away. But that was in a country practice. It was, it was oh your first God, gig, wasn't that's, it? Yeah, well, I was 18 when I came oh, to 18. New South Wales from yeah. WA. Yeah. So, but I played young schoolgirls for a long time, up until I was in my, oh God, late 20s, I was still playing schoolgirls. Oh. I actually played a schoolgirl in a, in a play when I was pregnant. Oh. <laughs> and I was in a, a school uniform. And uh, so I had to. Again, you are I on the coast. I had to act though. like this. I couldn't. I couldn't turn on the side because it was there. So everything was like this. It was very difficult. Anyway, there you are. That's my physical physical comedy for you. It was. It was good. Thank you very much. They appreciate it. Um, Can't do much more at fifty-one, I'm afraid. Fifty-one. You're looking good for fifty-one. Oh, gee, thanks very much. Ah, oh, you're welcome. That's what we do. <laughs> When we're Tell over 50. Tell your guests they look fabulous. When we're over 50. No, no. Well, I'm 52. Are you? So, yes. Well, well, hang on. What did you say it like that? <laughs> what was that bit no, like? No, you're looking really the, good too. You should, uh... <laughs> I tell you what, I like this backdrop, don't you? You know Where's what? Where's that? I can tell you about the backdrop. The guy that did this, Sergei Golikov, right? He, he took the, the picture. You. Yes. Oh, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> you probably live somewhere near here, do you? Do you live near? Oh, that's there? the water tower. Yeah. All oh, right. Um, there's a lighthouse that shouldn't be there, but it's all docked it up. But Sergey did all this, and now he's. Um, it looks great. He's a local guy. He's got a lot of panoramic. Uh, uh, his pictures are in people's house, so he yeah, sells stuff. So beautiful. If you are interested in, in this, uh, go to go to our website if we had one. Um, no. Am I allowed to move my chair back a bit? Where do you want to go? Just when I look at you, I look straight into that light. Oh, that's so it gets you. Oh, I'm lit here, so I yeah. need to stay down. I'm just sure. not going to look at you. Okay, that's no fine. No offence, just... <laughs> no, that's fine. I have narrow angle glaucoma. Oh, that sounds yeah. cool. I had, like, holes lasered into my eyes. Oh, do you? He, I had to keep still. He said, now keep still, because if you don't keep still, I'm like, what? He said, well, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting a laser into your eye to make a hole in it, so you better keep still. And I'm like, oh, is this, this, this really happening? So I had to stay still, and it feels like someone's flicking a, 
a lucky band or something really hard. Or a laser. Your eye. Or a laser, as yeah. it was. <laughs> I had to do two. And the first one he did, and he, he flicked it, and I went, oh, my God, that's over. And he went, actually, no, I didn't get it properly. I have to do it again. I'm like, oh, my God. But um, it's stopping me from going blind because I have narrow-angle glaucoma, which was just picked up... Um, Randomly, I was in Melbourne doing a, a musical and my eyes were feeling a bit funny and I just thought, oh, see, maybe I need glasses. So I went in and she was a really good optometrist, clearly, and picked it up and said, you need to go immediately and have holes lasered into your eyes. What's it called again? Because that's the glucose... Narrow angle glaucoma. So there's... No. I don't know exactly how it works, but there's... But you know you might not have. She might have just been drumming up business. <laughs> You know, they do that, these people. You go, oh, you need glasses. Or, do I? Oh, you definitely do. Yeah, probably. Yeah, they're like that. I've been done, God damn it. Now I've got holes in my eyes that cost me $1,000 per hole. Wow. You don't want to pay that yeah. much for a hole, do you? It's no. quite expensive. No. Well, it depends on the hole, obviously. Still $1,000 is a lot. I oh, know, I oh, know. Have you ever had a hearing test done? Sorry? Yes. Have you? Because I have recently because um, I was bored and I was in the shopping centre. <laughs> I was in the shopping centre and, you know, because they're always they're trying to get you into all the hearing places now. I thought, oh, I've got some time to kill. So I went in there and they, they, they fuck with you too. What they do, they put me in this box, right? They put you in a soundproof box, close the door, and then she sits on the corner and then she goes... Um, can you hear me? No. Sorry. She does the opposite. Can you hear me? And of course I'm in the box, I'm like, what? And then she goes, no, oh, you need hearing aids now. <laughs> Not only that, the follow-up call was worse. I was in the car and the phone rings and you answer it and then she mumbled something. She was like, bip, bip, bip. And of course you have to say, sorry, what did you say? And she went, oh. Oh, it's gotten worse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Audrey from the hearing clinic. Oh, come on. No, you mumble. Yeah. Yeah. They don't fall for that. All right. Well, it's yeah. a bit late now. Yeah. Need, you needed to tell me this beforehand. Yeah, anyway. That's, it's good, though. You've got to fix I'm, I'm too scared. that Anything to do with the eyes, uh, I get really scared about all that, you know. The... Yeah. Well, I'm, I must admit now, like, it, it's hard when I'm on stage, particularly in big shows, um, which is why I don't do so many of them anymore, because... Depending on the angle of the light, like if it's if it's right up the top, it's okay. If it's coming at a certain angle, it makes it harder. And I get the light kind of ghosts, so you get like lots of the light. If it's just one light coming here, I'll see a lot of them, and it can be quite yeah. disconcerting. Which is why when I'm looking at you and I and that one's there, I'm yeah. a bit like, mm. but anyway, that's perfect. If you could say like that, great, excellent. I swear to tell the truth, Hi. the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. <laughs> I'm loving it. The camera guy's going, can you move your Yeah, yeah. Man. I wish I knew a lawyer. You know, when you're growing up, you want to know cool people. As you get older, you think, oh, I wish I knew a doctor or a... Well, yeah. Or yeah. a lawyer. Yeah. Especially just, a doctor. Well, at this age, you just kind of, you know, you keep having tests. Have I got this? No. Have I got that? No. You're just kind of winding down to what it is that's going to kill you, basically. Yeah. <laughs> this is very uplifting. I mean, no, that's <laughs> Yeah. worried about that. Like, no. I, the, next, can't do the next life is going to be an adventure, you, you know. And I've had a good life so far, you know. I'm tired. It's time. Yeah. How did I get here? I'm so sorry. Know. Look, something shiny. No. <laughs> oh, did you bring your gum nut? I did. Because only because you mentioned this that I'm interested I'm to know. I'm so sorry I mentioned it now oh. because it's really not exciting. But gum nut blowing... Yeah. Oh, I've never seen it before. It's a, it's a particular kind of blowing, and yes. um, I'm fairly good at it. Oh. Apparently. Yes! Blew my way to the middle. Now, I someone taught me how to do this years ago when I was a little tacker, and now that I'm... Yeah, no, 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 I'm talking about this one now, not the... Yeah. Although, um... Anyway, look, look, something shiny. Um, so, it, but it, it's only, it only makes one note. That's all right. Like what I need is like something like long like that and then you attach different sizes on it and you could kind of blow them and get the different sounds. But anyway. The good I, thing about that, we'll use that in the promo and uh, <laughs> people will tune in. I put it on my um, um, 
the show cast is a, is a thing that we, as actors, we have to have. It's, it's online and you've got your photos on it and your CV, what you've done, and your show, your show reel and all of that stuff. And producers and directors will um, look at that and look through, and, and you've got all the things that you can do. I put gum nut blowing on once mm. just to be silly, because I thought no one's good. no one reads it. no one reads these things. This is ridiculous. And then this European director came out to direct something at the STC, and he wanted to have a look at me for for a role. I didn't get it, but um, he had read that I put gum nut blowing on there as a, as a lark, because it's not that really that mm. much of a talent. Well, it's and very then he, rare, then he asked me to do it. Right. And I went, oh, my God, lucky I can. Yes. Yeah, anyway. OK. Such a build-up, going to be an anticlimax now. Yeah, that's what my girlfriend and I'm says. A bit... <laughs> There's pills you can take for that, doll. <laughs> Half an hour before, I believe. <laughs> See? Hey! That was it. Thank you very much. <laughs> so you've got to put your thumbs like that over the top of the hole. I haven't taken my pill yet. <laughs> oh, there's no time. That's half an hour. <laughs> That's it. That's all right. <laughs> That's going to get cut, isn't it? <laughs> no. That's going to be the leading story of this episode. <laughs> I don't know where that... this comes from either. Now, I was going anyway. to give you a quiz to uh, a win quiz. our box. Yeah. But what's in the box? We all know what's in the box now because people tune in each week. <laughs> Um, so that's my box just sitting on the table. Isn't that's it? your box. <laughs> that's your box on the table. Uh, There's my box on the table, dear Darren, dear Darren. My box is on your table, dear Darren. Oh my God, okay. I'm having a drink. Sorry. I think this show may be on at 3 a.m. Oh, no. Now, one of the first jobs you had, um, oh. it, it was, it was going to be to that, but we didn't talk about your jobs, like the first job you had was, because um, I did a similar thing with, you did a silver service um, oh, yeah, waitress. Yeah, yeah. Mm. well, I bluffed my way into that job. Yeah. Um, my first job was Chicken Treat in WA, and the, yeah, do you remember Chicken Treat? Yeah. Yeah, like a red rooster, but... but WA. Yeah, exactly. Or um, well, they had red rooster. Anyway, so the guy used to make us wear um, the costumes, the no uniforms, um, a size too small. Don't look at me like that, like that was my fault. You went, oh. <laughs> anyway, but then I got a job at the Oyster Bar, which is a really fancy restaurant. I don't know if it's still there or not. Um, on the Swan River there. And did, you ever, did anyone see the two Ronnies? You, anyone yeah, here yeah, old yeah, enough yeah, to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So one of them, the little one, um, was in WA. I guess they might have been doing a show, whatever. Um, Only Corbett. Corbett. Yeah. And he was there with some, some people and I was, I got their table. So I had said to them when I wanted the job, you know, yes, I'm, I'm a I'm experienced, this and that, never a waitress before in my life. And they said, can you do silver service? And I said, yes, I can. Didn't know what silver service was. And you know what, you know what it is. It's like you've got the spoon and the fork and you have to use them in one hand yeah. and pick things up with it. And when you pour wine, you can't spill a drop. <laughs> so it's hard. I had to do silver service of a, uh, a seafood platter with every, like the crustaceans with the shells on and everything, you know, with Ronnie Corp. And he actually, I mean, I used to watch him and think he was hilarious, but he was quite cranky because I was slow and not good and he had the shits with me. And I was so nervous and I'm trying to get the silver thing and I'm lifting the... I'm trying to tell stories and be entertaining just so they don't look, look up here! Well, so, you know, I managed to get all the things, you know, but it took me a long time. Um... And uh, then I went back into the to the to the kitchen, and they said, "You've never done silver service before, have you?" And I went, "Nah." And uh, they fired me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you're going to take the box here. Anyway, so. <laughs> now. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Whenever someone Thank says to me, "Now you have to answer questions," yeah. immediately my brain just goes. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, we... you can't say <laughs> things. What it's we... a thing. I get really intimidated because I go, oh, you'll never get it right, you'll never get it right. It's terrible to be so insecure at 51. I'm nearly dead and I still can't do a quiz. <laughs> nearly dead. You know, some people in I... this audience have lived twice as long as you. <laughs> and good on you. Yes. Now, before you go, we do have a gift for you from Central Coast Hampers and Gifts. 
It is a hamper. Yes, there you go. Central Coast Hampers and Gifts. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You can check that out. And you want to know what's in the box? Oh, would you like me to open the box? No, you don't have to. It's all good. Should I open my box on your table? Oh, okay. Dear Liza, I'll take it off your table okay and put it on my lap i mean it, I'm it, a contortion. it's pretty much a collector's it's pretty much a collector's item now. i can't get in <laughs> my box won't let me in i seriously can't open my box i think this segment should just be called trying to open a box oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah. what hang on. can you do it just tear my box oh I have. I've just put a little tear in it there. Oh, that's right. That's what happened when I had a baby. But they sewed it back up again. Sorry. <laughs> it's just a bit rude, isn't it? It's a bit too much. I am. My but mother. Where is, else? My mother is very disappointed in me. She says, "Don't do those rude things. Don't say that stuff. Nobody wants to hear it. It's not funny." I think she's wrong. But where else can you tell those stories? Here, hey. Where else can you tell those stories? There you go. <laughs> Thank you very much for being on the show. Please thank Pippa Granderson. Thank you. It's time for the Coast Show Prize Wheel. Tonight, one lucky audience member and one home viewer are in with a chance to win a $100 gift card to spend at the Queen's Wharf Hotel in Newcastle. Experience the best VR in Australia at CCVR The Entrance with an hour-long virtual reality session. A $100 voucher to enjoy pizza and pasta at Paparotti's Tugra. Two weeks of unlimited classes for you and a friend at Compass Pilates Reformer Studio Long Jetty. Enjoy a show for two at Lazotte's in Lambton. Live and cooking at Lazotte's. A $50 voucher to enjoy breakfast, lunch or dinner at the Entrance Lake House. Salsa your way into a five-week intro to Salsa course for two with Central Coast Salsa, valued at $250. Our luckiest audience member uh, tonight to spin the well is Hagrid. No, it's a... <laughs> no, it's a... <laughs> Steve is a very popular uh, audience member, apparently, Steve. Thank you very much for uh, putting the effort in and getting dressed up and coming out tonight. Uh, <laughs> now, we understand, Steve, you're, uh, you're, you're off, uh, off overseas soon. Uh, yeah, Fiji, back to Fiji. Back to Fiji, because yeah. you, 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 were you born there? No, 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 but we live there now. Live there, there. Well, that's but I grew up here. Yeah. The coast. Well, I'm not sure about the lighthouse. The no, it confuses me. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. it's all smoke and mirrors here at the coast show. So for your chance, <laughs> for your chance to win one of these great prizes on the uh, the wheel and also the home viewer, spin the wheel as hard as you can. I'll hold it down. Are we ready to go? Yeah, yeah, it's a okay. dodgy wheel. So We're yeah, on? yeah, We're yeah, on. go for it. Go. go for it. Here it goes. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, you happy with that one? Like us, that's great, man. Oh, cool. There you go. You got, uh, you got some lake house uh, vouchers for yourself and also the lucky home viewer. So well done. Congratulations, Steve. Thank you, man. Congratulations, Steve. You and our home viewer have each won a $50 voucher to eat, drink and indulge at the Entrance Lake House. Check out their full menu at theentrancelakehouse.com.au. If you'd like to be a home contestant on our prize wheel, be sure to follow and like The Coast Show on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and subscribe to The Coast Show YouTube channel for details. My next guest is a very, very funny man and a great friend. Please put your hands together for Alan Glover. Well, thank you very much, Darren. How nice it is to be here. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I just got back from Scotland where I picked up this very, very attractive souvenir accent. Because that's not really how I sound. I normally sound like this. Uh, well, I have to use my normal accent because I, I, I have trained my dog to respond to me. I have a new dog, uh, a rescue dog. Uh, he's made of lots of parts that were left over at the RSPCA. <laughs> and he's, he's a lovely dog. And I wanted, I had to name him and I thought, what, what do you name a dog? It's hard to think of a name for a dog, isn't it? And I don't have children, so I didn't even have, you know, that to practice on. Um, and, and I thought, what is the acid test? The acid test for the name of a dog is that you can shout it across a crowded street without being embarrassed. So I was down at this park with my dog, Taxi, and 
and I was very happy to be back in the park because we've been locked up for so long and I'm out in amongst the park. And I, and I saw these people and I thought they would have gone away, but they're not. They're still there. It's a, it's a, it's a freak religious group. Uh, you probably would have seen them. They, they seem to be taking over our parks and recreational areas. Uh, personal trainers. <laughs> have you seen these bastards? They come in there, they've got, the, they've got their, you know, the bags of shit and they've got their big ropes and things like this and they, and they take over the monkey bars, the kids in gymnasium and stuff. And one of this guy, he's, he's up on the, on the monkey bars taking over and he's doing, he's doing, I said, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? He said, chin-ups. I said, what for? He said, build up my muscles, biceps. I said, why? He said, so I can do more chin-ups. <laughs> because it's stupid. What is the point of chin-ups? And maybe to me, because I'm tall, I don't need chin-ups because I'm already up there. <laughs> but I just don't get the point. Now, a push-up, a push-up, I can understand. I often wake up face down on the floor. <laughs> like the other night, I, you know, had a few drinks and went to go to bed and missed. <laughs> So the push-up comes in handy. That I can understand. But there are these stupid... I saw these two blokes. You know those big blokes? The big puffy ones, the stupid-looking ones that are shaped sort of like that. The big... Um, you know, those ones. I'm wondering, what is it? Why are they so big like that? What are they going to do? So they can type harder in the office or something? <laughs> Bloody idiots. And why do you want to be shaped like that? If you get that sort of odd... You know, all that shape and that... What's that? What's this one, the six-pack? You get that. You can't wear the Australian national costume. You know what the Australian national costume is? Are you Australians? It's the belt line. It's the belt line. I'll give you a quick demo. Probably the best known of these is the... It's the... The vertical belt line looks, looks like this. There it is. There right now. now, the idea is to get the belt completely vertical, if you can... Really crank that up there like that. <laughs> now, just a warning, do not try this after the show, folks. I'm wearing a stunt stomach for this demonstration. <laughs> now, I'm just looking in the audience so I can see there's a few of the older men in the audience. They wouldn't be caught dead walking around like this, the old fellas. The blokes in the clubs, you know, in the RSL and that. They, they know they look like idiots, so they just tuck it away where nobody noticed. Like that. Ah. I'll have another lamington, thanks, Beryl. And, of course, I shouldn't leave out the one favoured by the younger Australian male. The half ass look, there it is there, like that. This one's best with a couple of inches of crack showing at the back there. You notice blokes dressed like this don't pick their bums. They can't find them. So <laughs> See, to be Australian, you've got to have, you know, a bit of shape to you. <laughs> I like going to the festivals, you know, camping at festivals. You like doing that? Yeah. I love doing that. And I love drinking. You can drink there and you get your clothes out and all that. I like sitting in my tent where it's all crowded, lots of tents around, late at night, waiting for the people who've been on it, coming back, you know, they're coming back. Shh, shh, where's our tent? <laughs> I, 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 I don't remember. What kind of car is this? People are sleeping. What colour? What colour is it? It's, it's blue. They're all in blue. Oh, thank God we found the tent. Yeah, isn't it great? We made it back without bothering anybody. A micron of nylon is not a sound barrier. We can hear. But the other fun thing about staying up late at night is those people coming back when they put the torch on or the lamp inside the tent and get undressed for bed. You know, the shadow puppet show. Yeah. Thank you very much for having me on the Cubs show. Thank you, mate. Thanks, Alan. Thank you. Please thank Alan Glover, also Pippa Granderson. Thank you very much. Good night.
This episode of The Coast Show with Darren Sanders was recorded in front of a relatively live audience at the Entrance Leagues Club. If you'd like to be part of our audience, follow and like The Coast Show for details. Mike Goldman speaking.